Hey guys, it's Julia, and as you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be a dorm tour. I'm, cur <coughs> I'm currently a freshman at the University of Miami, and I am living in Eaton Residential College. So the two main housing options. <coughs> So the two main housing options for freshmen are Hecht and Stanford, and if you've ever been on campus, they're the two big towers, and they house about 800 people. But this year, they put freshmen in Eaton Residential College as overflow. So each floor on Hecht and Stanford are separated by gender because it's communal bathrooms, so about 40 people on each floor share a bathroom. <laughs> trying to film a vlog here. <laughs> But in Eaton, it's a little bit different because it's suite style. So there is a room and then there is a bathroom in the middle and then there's another room. So it's four people sharing one bathroom. So the rooms in Eaton are a little bit bigger in width as opposed to Hex and Stanford where lengthwise they're like longer. And Eaton has bigger closets, which is a plus. So that's kind of the overview, overview, is that the word? Yeah, overview. So that's kind of the overview of Eaton. So we'll cut to the part I'm gonna show you guys around. <laughs> so this is Eaton Residential College. It's four floors and the first floor is for faculty and it's the lobby. And then the housing is on the last three floors. Um, this is where Lake Osceola is and that's the Shalala Center. So you can kind of get an idea of where Eaton is. And then the two freshman housing um, buildings are right over there. So now we're going to walk into Eaton. <laughs> Do you know him? No. I think that's Peter. Oh my god. So in order to get into Eaton, you do have to swipe in with your cane ID. So. So this is the lobby area. Um, there's people studying over there, so I have to keep my voice down. But it's pretty nice, and people come down here to study and to talk. So yeah, let's go upstairs. So since we are on the second floor, we just go up the stairs, but there is an elevator. So <laughs> And this is the second floor. So on every floor there is a study room. You have to swipe in to get into that too. But it has a table and a couple chairs. It's good for 3 a.m. homework sessions when your roommate is sleeping. <laughs> so there's a water fountain. You can fill up your water bottle. And <laughs> so if you walk over here, the laundry room is over here. There's one on every floor and it's free with your tuition. There's three washing machines and four dryers. Not proportionate at all. But yeah, so that was the laundry room. And this is our RA's room. So an RA in college, if you don't know, it's an upperclassman that lives on your floor. So you can go to them with any problems that you have. And she's really nice. Her name is Deb, big fan. <laughs> so our dorm is the last one on this hallway. So we're gonna walk over there. So this is our dorm. We have a whiteboard on the door and it's fun to have one of those because the people on your floor write stuff on it and it can get really funny. And we have a calendar and our whiteboard has the countdown to Christmas on it right now. It's a hundred days away. So let's go in. <laughs> So since we are in Eaton, it's a bit of a bigger closet, as you can tell, and the closet has these doors, so it's good when you want to change your clothes. You go in here. So that's kind of the closet. All right, so come closer. 
So each side has it's basically the same layout. There's a pole across here that you can put hangers on. And I hung uh, some of these for my shoes and for like my bulkier clothes, like my jeans and my sweaters. Um, and then I hung things like my skirts and like my nicer shirts. But there is a lock box over here. You do have to bring your own lock, but that you can buy at like uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. I keep my shower caddy here and that's something that you absolutely need in college and you need uh, shower shoes. And then I also keep just like my deodorant and like my hairbrush over here and my Tide Pods and my dryer sheets are over here. What is this called? A dresser. Drawers? A dresser. A dresser? A dresser. Yeah. So now we're going to look into the dresser to see kind of the depths and the widths and how much you can fit in it. So in this first one, I keep my pajamas. It's easier if you roll up your clothes like this because it's more space efficient. So that's what I do. And I can fit about two and a half weeks of pajamas in here. And I also keep my underwear in here. And then the second one, I just kind of keep like my gym clothes. That's pretty much what I wear here because it really does get hot, obviously, because we're in Miami. So I like to wear tank tops and just like Nike running shorts a lot. These I don't roll up just because I do have enough room. So I keep those in there. In the third drawer, I keep my shorts. Not only like my Nike shorts, but I also keep like my denim shorts and my nicer shorts in here. I probably have about 25 pairs of shorts in here and there is still some room for more. So you can definitely fit a lot in these dressers. And then the fourth one, I just kind of keep like miscellaneous stuff, like my socks, my bathing suits, my leggings. That's pretty much the dresser. And then also I put a little command hook over here for like my belts. And then these are my game day necklaces. <laughs> so something that's really useful to have are storage bins like this. This is pretty much like my toiletries and stuff. So this is just one and I keep, you know, like my bathroom stuff in here. Um, I keep my towels in here. I have three towels at a time. The one that I'm using right now is on the hook over there that I put up myself. So command hooks are pretty much lifesavers in college. And then I have six washcloths, hair stuff, more toiletries, and this is just, if I don't know where to put something, I put it in here. So that's pretty much the closet. And it's kind of the same thing on this side. My roommate has the same layout. All right. Hey guys. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Julie. I'm Julia's roommate, so I'm just gonna show you guys the bathroom in Eden. Since it's sweet style, we do share a bathroom with another dorm, so it's two other people that we share. If you come inside, you'll see that there's a little rack to hang our hand towels on, and we have two signs up. We have this, which is kind of a joke, but that's the president of the university. And then we have this, which serves like a party night for Southside. We're on the south side of Eden Residential College. And one of the guys down the hall, since we are co-ed, he's a DJ, so he was having a party where he was going to DJ for everybody. So if you come inside, over here we have the toilet. What happened is we actually decided to replace our shower curtains. Originally, they were this ugly, mustardy, yellowy color, which we didn't really like at all. So we ended up going to Target and replacing them, and they matched the shower curtains over the actual shower itself, too. But we, we, if you take the shower curtains back, it'll show the toilet. And then down here, we actually bought rugs. We, brought, we bought three little shower mat rugs from Target as well, and they're really soft, and they're nice to walk on when you come out of the shower or you're going to the bathroom. Over here, we have our sink. I guess it's a double sink. There's a sink for us and a sink for the people we share it with. Over here, I have my beauty goods. We have our soap. Julia and I keep our toothbrushes here, and then this is all of her stuff. This is my loofah. <laughs> And these are just some gloves. Um, they're not really used for anything. Nobody really likes them. I could not tell you why, but <laughs> there's just a funny story behind the gloves. Maybe we can share it one time. Today's not the day. Leave a comment below if you'd like to hear the story about the gloves. <laughs> and then over here we have our shower. It looks like someone just took a shower because it's kind of wet. We have the matching shower curtain. Someone's soap that they keep in there. It's one of our sweet mates. That's the shower head. The shower pressure is pretty good. And it gets pretty hot, which is really nice. It's also good for waste removal if you want to get rid of some chicken juice. <laughs> 
And yeah, this is all their stuff. If you wanna open up the door, this is where they live. <laughs> really gotta get me in this vlog when I look like trash. That's our seatmate, Brittany. So one thing about the University of Miami is you can request a roommate if you want. So Julia and I requested to be roommates with each other. We met on the Facebook page. However, we didn't know we'd be put into sweet staff housing. So we weren't able, we didn't really know if we could request or not who we'd be sharing a suite with. So we ended up getting put randomly with Brittany and roommate Diana. And Brittany and Diana actually were random roommates. They didn't know each other. And they, when they applied for housing, they applied for a random roommate ended up getting matched together and we ended up getting matched with them. It's a match made in heaven. <laughs> That's it for me. Now on to the rest of the room with Julia. So this is my side of the dorm. My bed is lofted and if you want to have your bed lofted you have to go online. I think it's bedlofts.com and you put in what school you're going to. This is like during the summer you have to do this. You'll come in when you move in and your bed will be lofted. So I lofted my bed and my roommate Julie did also because we want to have optimal room space in the dorm. My roommate and I got matching bed spreads because we want to be aesthetically pleasing. So this is from Urban Outfitters. And then up there I put up pictures of my friends and my family. I did use command strips for that, but the problem is that sometimes they do fall down because the walls are really slick. So you do have to like double command strip. If you're hanging up like 40 pictures and you bought a pack of 50, get another pack because they will fall down. I have to replace like two or three photos every week, which is annoying, but it is what it is. And then I have this. It's a stuffed corgi because I have a corgi at home. I live in New York and I miss him a lot. So I got a stuffed corgi to remember him. <laughs> My roommate and I did decide to purchase our own fridge and microwave. You can rent them through Bedloft, but we purchased our own so we can use them in the years to come. And then we also have a Miami tennis. This is a shirt that we tried to cut for game day and we failed miserably. So it's hanging up now. My roommate is on the club tennis team, so. <laughs> this is our crock pot. We got it yesterday and I was really excited about it. So I'm making dinner in it tonight. I'm making chicken alfredo with broccoli. It's gonna be done in about an hour. So I'm pretty excited for that. <laughs> and then every room comes with a desk and a chair. So you can kind of use it how you want to. My roommate kind of uses hers to do work at. I like to go into the study room. So this is kind of like my vanity for my makeup. So like I said, I kind of use my desk as a vanity. So these are my makeup organizers that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. I really like how organized they help me stay. And it's a lot neater than just throwing everything in a bag and trying to fish it out. And then this mirror is also from Bed Bath & Beyond. I hung up my playbills from back home. I hung them up above my bed, but they fell because the walls are really slick, so they kept falling. So now they're over here. I've hung up the exercise schedule at the University of Miami's gym. I haven't been to one yet, but <laughs> I'm trying my hardest. And then I just kind of put up things around me at home, some pictures of me and my friends. Oh, that's a card that my aunt sent me. It's just thinking of you with a quirky on it. <laughs> and then my clock. So now I'm gonna show you guys the inside of my drawers. This drawer is just, you know, your regular pull-out drawer. I just kind of keep my desk supplies in there. This one, this is just kind of, <laughs> I don't even know what's in here. Just random stuff that doesn't really have a place. This is a little more deep than this one. I keep my books in here, my textbooks and my notebooks. And then this is the deepest one. Like the first one, I kind of just keep stuff that I really don't know what to do with in here. But it is pretty deep, so you can fit a lot of stuff in there. And then I have my laundry basket over here, and then just my backpack and other stuff that I don't know what to do with. So that's that side. So my roommate and I wanted to get sort of a couch or a futon for the room so when we have guests they can sleep on not the floor. But instead of a futon, we got a day bed, which was actually cheaper and in my opinion, I think it's nicer than having a futon. We got this on Amazon. We got the frame and the mattress and then this is just a mattress cover, the pink. And the pillows, these three are from Wayfair and this one is from Etsy. And then we got these two little body pillows at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's honestly a really nice size. I can lay on it and my whole body will fit and I'm 5'6". And then this is our rug that we got on Amazon as well. Yeah. 
So this is our snack drawer because we are college students and we eat a lot. So this is where we keep our candies and my roommate brought a lot of tea. So we keep the tea in there. This is where we keep kind of our movie foods. We have popcorn and chips. This is where I keep a lot of my food because I am gluten free. So they do have gluten free options at the dining hall, but sometimes it's nice to kind of have stuff that I eat at home. So my mom shipped me a lot of this stuff and I keep it all in this drawer. And then down here, we just have our napkins. So we moved my roommate's dresser over to underneath her bed just because we want to have a stand to put the TV up on. And it actually fits kind of well, like you can still open up the drawers all the way. So if you wanted to move it, you can. All the furniture in the dorm is movable, except for the mirror, you can't move that. And then we got a TV. There is a university TV station. You can find more about that on the website for the housing. And then over here, we kind of have a shrine of Miami. Um, we got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. This is from Christian Fest. <laughs> And then this is the alma mater. Um, definitely a good song if you want to hear something that slaps. Definitely listen to the alma mater. Um, it outsold. So we originally had the TV on this, which is a TV stand, but we are worried about the TV tipping over and falling off of it because it is so narrow. So that's why we switched the dresser with this. But it's actually pretty nice because we can open these drawers without worrying about the TV like falling down. So over here, paper towels and stuff, wipes. Uh, we steal food from the dining hall. Uh, sorry, University of Miami. Um, please don't expel us. So we have these and we take them back to the dorm. And this is our bowls, plates, forks, knives. Um, there is no communal kitchen in Eaton, so that's why we did buy our own fridge and micro microwave and crock pot. Um, there is only kitchens in, I believe it's Mahoney, which is upperclassmen dorms, and then the apartments on campus. So freshman, you're out of luck, you don't have a kitchen. And then this one we keep Ziploc bags in. that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment. If you have any questions about Miami, if you're thinking about applying or if you're thinking about attending, um, definitely you can leave a comment below or we left our Instagrams in the description. So definitely you can follow us, DM either me or my roommate, Julie. Uh, we would love to help you guys out. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.